The City of Raleigh is pleased to announce that the Sandy Forks Road Widening Project has earned the Green Road Silver Certification. Sandy Forks also takes the top rank worldwide as the highest scoring project. Let's take a look at what went into Raleigh's first Green Road Certified Project. The Green Road's rating system is a sustainability rating system for roadway design and construction projects. Green Roads was established in 2010 and is a very similar process to the LEED certification program for building projects. What used to be a beat up two lane road with worn footpaths along the shoulders of this busy street is now a median divided roadway with wide bike lanes and sidewalks. Sandy Forks Road is home to many Raleigh residents that now have a beautiful and safe route to jog, walk, bike to nearby parks and green roads. Newly planted trees line the road and in coming years they will provide shade for pedestrians. There's also a few locations along the corridor where you can now sit and take a break on a park bench. The City of Raleigh has realized the importance of public spaces and this project is utilizing the right of way in some innovative ways. One of those ways is through the introduction of public art throughout the city. The Sandy Forks Road project features a sculpture located at the bioretention basin at the Lakes Apartments and educational silence along the corridor. My name is Laurent de Comermont and I chair the Public Art and Design Board. The Office of Raleigh Arts and the Public Art and Design Board commissioned Baltimore artist Jan Rosenkarolt for the public art component of this project. She created this striking 18 foot tall sculpture that is made of stainless steel and copper that emulates the movement of water, much like the retention pond itself. It collects and filters water before releasing it back to the environment, much like the water retention pond. In addition to the public art along Sandy Forks Road, there are three educational sign units, and Leslie Barnabo is here to talk to us about those today. Hey, nice hey, to see Leslie. you. So we have three spots on this road that are dedicated towards educating the public about public space and about the special features of Sandy Forks. So there's one sign on each end that explains a little bit more about uh, just kind of where we are on the road and what the road is. And each of these spots has a bench that people can stop and rest. This spot has a much larger sign that explains the story in three kind of unique ways. I'll just walk you through the sign. Sounds great. Uh, the first panel talks about Raleigh's history with water. The second panel points to how on this road we're treating water differently than a lot of roads do. We uh, filter a lot of the water in these bioretention basins, these rain gardens, both here at the other end of the road and then some of the median bioretention basins. And then the third panel really describes uh, the green road certification process. And it also explains a little bit more about the art and where the art came from. So hopefully as people ride their bike or walk along this road, or even if they're driving by, they'll, they'll see these signs and want to stop and learn a little bit more about our history and about how this road is unique in Raleigh. Sandy Forks Road is much more than a new roadway. The city's focus on sustainability and green road infrastructure along this corridor. Joining us today is Chris Johnson, the Division Manager for Roadway Design and Construction. Good to see you, Chris. Good to see you too, Tiffany. Have a seat. Thanks. Chris, can you tell me about some of the sustainability practices we used along the corridor? The city explored new technologies and sustainability best practices during the design and construction of Sandy Forks Road. The end result is a new roadway that is environmentally friendly, multimodal, and sustainable to the surrounding neighborhood communities. The Sandy Forks project includes several green initiatives, such as a landscape plan that includes native plants that require minimum watering needs after the initial establishment period, LED light fixtures to reduce long-term energy costs, warm mix asphalt was used in lieu of hot mix asphalt to reduce energy costs, air emissions, and to provide a healthier paving operation. We also added one extra inch of asphalt to the pavement thickness, which increased the longevity of the road by an additional 15 years providing lower life cycle costs and future maintenance of the roadway. And low impact stormwater management practices, such as three bioretention basins installed along the corridor. These stormwater treatment devices will reduce downstream erosion and improve water quality in the downstream watershed. What is warm mix asphalt? Warm mix asphalt consists of technologies that lowers the temperatures at which pavement material is produced, placed, and compacted. Temperature reduction offers several environmental benefits, including reduced fuel consumption, lower asphalt plant emissions, and a healthier working environment. This is especially true for work crews that handle paving operations in the hot summer heat of North Carolina. What is a bioretention basin and how does it work? Bioretention basins are landscape depressions or shallow basins used to slow and treat on-site stormwater runoff. Stormwater is directed to the basin and then infiltrates through the system where it is treated by a number of physical, chemical, 
and biological processes called evapotranspiration. The rain runoff is captured in the basin, water is treated, then allowed to infiltrate into the surrounding soil or is directed to nearby stormwater drains or streams. This is great because it promotes recharging of the natural groundwater supply. The runoff is also released more slowly, which reduces erosion and negative impacts to our downstream creek and reservoirs. In short, bioretention basins can be aesthetically pleasing if properly designed and maintained, they reduce the amount of rainwater runoff from upstream drainage areas, and they effectively remove sediment, nutrients, and traces of heavy metals found in stormwater runoff from our streets and land development. Sandy Forks Road has three of these systems along the corridor. There is a large one located at the intersection of Six Forks Road and another at the Lakes Drive. The project also contains the first bioretention basin located in the median in the city of Raleigh just west of the Lakes Drive. The city looks forward to utilizing many of the green initiatives explored along Sandy Forks Road in the future. Keeping Raleigh green.